pushed for an answer, I consider the countryside around Chilworth, near Guildford, to be some of the best in Surrey. Conspicuous is St. Martha's Church, perched on its own hill several hundred feet above the village. It might be a test of stamina to attend a service, but there is a car park near the top. Butting on to Chilworth near the quiet waters of the Tilling Bourne are relics of a former and potentially noisy industry, the Chilworth Gunpowder Mills. They closed in 1920, but Guildford Borough Council, with the help of a Heritage Lottery Fund, have made them accessible for anyone interested in Chilworth's unique past. I left the bus at Albury, the neighbouring village, to start my walk following a right-of-way at Waterloo Ponds, as prelude to the gunpowder mills. I continued on a good track by the Tilling Bourne, a tributary of the River Way. Here the trees were still in spring leaf, with blossom very much in evidence. Soon the most prominent building, the Boiler House, is glimpsed through the trees, which later in the year would be concealed by tree leaf. The gunpowder mills date back to 1626 and were active until the end of World War I. The boiler house is the only substantial building that remains. It can be explored with care. The main path through the site is in good repair, but alternative routes should only be tackled by wearing stout shoes or boots. In many cases, evidence of what occurred is only indicated by a sign but assisted by an excellent leaflet that can be taken at the entrance. For the historian, there is much to see, but if, like me, St. Martha's Church and Hill beckons, join the Downs Link Path for an easier ascent. There are more direct routes, but they are steeper and eroded by rainwater. There is, of course, the car park in Hapenny Lane, but there is still a climb to the top on a broad track. A seat is conveniently placed about halfway, fashioned from a fallen log. The views from the church are wide-ranging and mostly to the south. In front are the Surrey Hills, and in between is the Tillingbourne Valley and Chilworth. A gap in the hills affords a distant prospect of the South Downs, but like any view, you need an ultra-clear day. I was lucky, but I had consulted the weather forecast before making my move. The church was closed, so I continued down to Chantry's Wood, just in time for the bluebells, before crossing open downland with retrospect views back to St. Martha's Hill. I then doubled back on a good track to Blacksmith Lane and the train home from Chilworth Station. My photographic companion was the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II, set on aperture priority at f8 for most of the shoot, plus the 12 to 100 pro lens, and a grubby rucksack for security whilst travelling, incidentally, containing my lunch, by now consumed, a first aid kit, 
and Ordnance Survey Explorer map number 145. I took 111 photographs on that day. I only rejected three. I have many others, preferring to show what can be done in just a few hours in the right conditions rather than from stock.